See how far I get before I have one big fall. Wow, I'm not good at this anymore. I used to be okay at this game, but now I'm bad. Looks like the mouse sensitivity is lower. Oh, that's a little too high. That's better. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute. If you won some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped your food on it. If you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. And it will be here, waiting All right. for you. Thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. And don't worry, I'll save your progress, always. Even your mistakes. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazor, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B-games. And B-games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished joy. products. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. That act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour yeah. to get over that tree, and a lot of people never go past it. Just thing. Prod and like poke it at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Fuck. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in Sexy Hiking is real. The obstacles in Sexy Hiking are unyielding, and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them, and it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas, and that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with, and in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. For years now, people have been predicting that games would soon be made out of prefabricated objects, bought in a store and assembled into a world. There we go. And for the most part, that hasn't happened, because the objects in the stores are trash. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made, although a lot of them are. I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Things are made to be consumed and used in a certain context, and once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. In the context of technology, those moments pass by in seconds. 
Over time, we've poured more and more refuse into this vast digital landfill that we call the internet. It now vastly outnumbers and outweighs the things that are fresh and untainted and unused. When everything around us is cultural trash, Shit. trash becomes the new medium. Uh, fuck the it. lingua franca of the digital uh, Okay, vertical wall part two. You can build culture two. out of trash. But only trash culture. B games, hey. B movies, nice. B nice, music, nice. B philosophy. Maybe this is what digital culture is. A monstrous mountain of trash, the ash heap of creativity's fountain. A landfill with everything we ever thought of in it. Grand, infinite, and unsorted. There's 3D models of breakfast. Gen X's fanfic novels, Scan Magazine's green screen Shia LaBeouf, banned snuff scenes on Lively, Facebook's got lifelike bots with unbranded adverts and candid shots of Kanye and Taylor Swift mashups, car crash epic failed GIFs, Russian dashcam vids, discussions of McRibs, discarded, forgotten, unrecycled, muddled, oh, shit, shit, shit. No, untitled. Everything's fresh for about six seconds, until some newer thing beckons and we hit refresh. And there's years of persevering, disappearing into the pile, out of style, out of sight. This is the part of the mountain where I start to get slightly less consistent, but we're still in areas that I have strats for, so it's not too rough yet. In this context, it's tempting to make friendly oh. content that's gentle, that lets you churn through it but not earn it. Why make something demanding times. if it just gets piled up in the landfill, filed in with the bland things? Alright, I think I pogo for this. I don't remember what the consistent way of getting this staircase is, but it's real rough. Mm. Oh, 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 almost. Just lost a lot of Shut progress. up, Bennett. That's a deep frustration. A real punch in the gut. We're fine, Bennett. Shut up. So there's a set of dialogues he does when he senses you've fallen a certain amount down the path. So he tends to spam those when I repeatedly fall in this area and gets really obnoxious. <laughs> this is a game that's intended to frustrate you. And the more frustrated you get, the less good you are at it. So, you gotta try and keep a cool head. Oh, there we go. Oh, go. Nope. There we are. Alright. This is the part that I'm bad at. Hey, two for two. And I hit my head on the ceiling a bunch. This is the part that I'm really bad at. I, I learned a consistent way to do this, but I don't remember it. Ooh, <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> Shut up, Bennett. Whoop. Gonna eat myself real quick. No biggie. Just to set expectations, I am not realistically going to finish this game tonight. Because there are parts further up the mountain that I'm even worse at. No, 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 no. Oh. There we go. Oh, 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 oh fuck. Again. Okay, yeah. Keep that's how that, don't let it get that's how that part usually goes for me. I typically don't get it every time. Oh, no, no, no. If you fall down there, you go all the way back to start. So we're going to be real careful not to do that.
There we go. No, no, no. There we go. Okay, very nice. Three out of four is not bad. It's a lot more consistent than I you know, usually am on that gap. I and remember how to do this one. Did I just... Nope, that's not it. Maybe, though. Yeah, 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 I think that's my strat from last time I played this. Problem is getting up here now without falling. Don't slip. You got this. Take it slow. No, no, no. Don't get greedy. Please. When games were new, they wanted a lot from okay. you. Daunting you, taunting yeah, 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 you, resetting yeah, yeah. and delaying you. Players played stoically. Now everyone's turned off by that. They want to burn through it quickly. A quick fix for the fickle. Some tricks for the clicks of the feckless. Oh my god, Bennett, shut the but fuck up. But that's not you, you're an acrobat. You could swallow a baseball bat. Up. Up. There we go. No, that's not how you pogo. Do that again. Need another. This is this area is tough because it's the first time they really ask you to rely on diagonal pogo. Ooh, no, thank you on that drop. Uh. We might slip a few stairs here, but we're going to take it slow and get back up to the chair. There we go. Okay. Do not want to go all the way back down to that last area with these three inconsistent jumps in a row that I'm bad at. Nope, that's not it. Oh, that's definitely the not it. Failure is not the falling down, nope. but the staying down. Mary Pickford. No, nope, nobody asked you, Bennett. Nobody asked me for a Mary Pickford quote. Yeah, I didn't look like I was going to hold. Now he's trying to play music, which could potentially get me copyright claimed, which is why I've turned it off. All the music in this game is supposed to be public domain, but one of the variants is not, or it detects as not being. So, mute that shit, Bennett. Trying to play going down the road feeling bad to troll me. Stuck. 
The player character has so little faith in me. Half the time I do something I intended entirely, and he goes, no, as if I just messed it up. He's expecting to fall. Come on, put your butt down. There we go. That's not what I meant to do, but at least we didn't fall. Nope, that, I can already see the hammer's position wrong. Let's try that again. There we go, that's better. Nope. Still not the trajectory I'm looking for. Okay, yes, 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 that's very, very good and very nice. stable on that staircase, which is huge because I've never been consistent on that staircase. And our first diagonal pogo. Nice. I think this second one's actually easier because you're working with the platform rather than against it. It's just that where you're trying to jump to is more difficult to rain. Try a swing instead of a pogo. Ah, that almost worked. I'll try swing a few more times. That even fails, it's more likely to put me in the safe spot. Oh, nope, I went a little too far on that stand. Back up. Okay. I'm gonna reposition that real fuck. Real quick. That's gonna cheeky little reposition. Ah, uh, get up there! No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Take it slow. Okay, we're okay. Everything's okay. That got scary for a sec. Most likely you're watching this on YouTube or Twitch, while some dude with 10 million views does it for you. Like a baby bird being fed chewed up food. That's culture too. Listen, Bennett, you don't get to sass the audience. This is between you and me. back here again and again. Avenge and repent until you've ascended. Or until you're contented. Ah, no. The soul would have no rainbow had the eyes no tears. John Vance Cheney. Rumbles. Alright, next time I, I fall, that particular fall, yeah, haha, <laughs> 10 million views. Can you even imagine having an audience on Twitch? This one's a pogo. Not 
and I'll try and pull some speedrunner shit. Yeah, Billy, I see you sassing me in the chat. You little booger. The pain I feel now is the happiness I had before. That's the deal. C.S. Lewis. Oh, goddamn. No, 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 no. Ooh, that was scary. I almost fell right back to start. That would have been the end of this for the night. Hey, Dashi, thanks for joining us. I know, right? Don't fall. As long as you don't do that, you're fine. I need to stop trying to swing that. I need to just do the patient thing and pogo jump. Every time I've tried to swing that, it looked promising and then I almost fell back to start. <laughs> Shut up, Phil. Oh, I'm getting over again. it. Showing patience and then attacking, scraping, then flapping and snagging. Shut up, Bennett. Oh. Okay, okay, we got this. We got this. Nope. Not like that. Not like that, we don't. Go and grab. No. Oh. Don't don't do that. That's not what we want. Whoop. Okay. Try this again. There's the grab. There's the second oh. grab, and we botched it. <clears throat> Thank you, Zuzu. Okay. Nope. 
<clears throat> no. Nope. You cannot now believe that you will ever feel better. Mm. But this is not true. You're sure to be happy again. And knowing this, truly believing it, will make you less miserable now. Bennett, you Abraham absolute Lincoln. dick. Stop talking. <laughs> 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 Hmm, we are all the way back at start. That's where we be. Next time I fall this far, I am ending stream. Because I am not, I'm not climbing this whole thing more than twice. Not in one night. Okay, these are parts I'm better at. It'll be a nice break from the stuff I'm frustrated on. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Oh. Oh, okay. Not even not even doing the early parts good now. The second the hammer touched the wall from the side, I was like, yep, I'm about to eat myself. Mm. Up, 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 up. Nope. Nope. God damn it. Okay. Deep breaths. <laughs> puzzle which is never great but I got through it pretty easy last time so let's see if we're lucky this time that's not it okay yep yep nope I got the first step to get the hammer on top of light number one Maybe 
chill about not letting the hammer contact the vertical surface, only the horizontal surfaces. Is that when you launch yourself downwards with the pogo motion? Nope, that's not it. Uh, okay. I mean, the first part's easier to, to swing and then grab, but the problem is you've got to do the right get high enough to, to grab this then you sit down and I tend to switch back to pogo and grab but the problem is if you it's a really small platform you're trying to grab and if you overswing you hit the vertical wall oh, there we go nope that was almost it that would have been the last part for the vertical wall good at it. You can do it all in one go with entirely swinging, but I am not so precise as that. Let's just try... Nope. That's not it. Right. Let's just try getting on top of the fridge. Pogo and grab from here. There we go. It's a little bit more consistent, I think. Okay. I've never tried sitting on this ledge before. I'm not sure if I can. Yeah, I can. Surprisingly. Oh, I didn't think that was going to work. Further than I thought. The vertical wall here has a way of getting harder the more times you try it. Head up, Bennett. I think anger makes you swing the hammer harder, and that can push you away from the wall. What? What makes me angry right now is you, Bennett. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. We got this. We got this. Nice, nice, nice. Don't do that. The trick when you get up here is you don't even jump. Once you're here, this is one of the few times in the game you can just reach for the next handhold without any jumping. You absolutely take advantage of that. Yeah, I do not actually know how to use uh, chat commands to change what game I'm playing. Uh, I was playing Monster Hunter for like three hours, but I figured I'd switch to this for the end of the night, since I was already having a running theme of failing at everything I attempted. Yeah, I mean, a, a competent streamer, Billy, would update what they're playing. There's like a chat command you can do, but I've never been able to get it to work. No worries. I'll probably play more Monster Hunter uh, next week because this week was the first time I played it in a while and usually I do a couple before I switch back to other games. That way I don't have to brush the rust off every single stream. Yeah, I think the problem is I don't have Nightbot set up or if I have it it's not properly configured. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. I have a 
see a cauldron man. It gets slow. Now a relaxing climb up these awful backward stairs. That was badly executed. Try that again. Oh, oh shh. No, 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 no. Ah. Do not stand at my grave and cry. I am not there. I did not die. Mary Fry. <laughs> Going slowly insane while climbing a mountain of garbage. Oh. Wow. I mean, I don't fault Bennett for making a frustrating game. It's my own fault for playing it. I did this to myself. If you look on the Steam page, in the description it says he made this game for a specific type of person to hurt them. <laughs> and yeah, it's a frustration game by design. It's pretty much what I signed on for. Oh, yeah. There we go. Cauldron Man, I did that just fine. Oh no at me. Why don't you have a seat? Why don't you sit down? Yeah, that's how physics work. No, oh, no, 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 no. That was almost very bad. Try and do a jump so that we don't stuff this up again. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those goofy things. Oh. I mean, you're scuffed, nonsensical type games oh. with frustrating controls. Oh. It's by the maker of Quop, so pretty much par for the course with him. It was actually a really popular game to stream back when it came out, but I wasn't really a, a serious streamer back then. I, I'm not really a serious streamer now, so... Ooh, that's why I missed the boat. I wasn't on the boat. Sit down. Take a seat, don't fall. trying a swing to get from there to the oh god damn it to get from there to the next handhold so maybe I'll do that when I'm back up there oh. mm. Whoop. nope not help that my hand is starting to cramp up No, 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 
<laughs> Later, Bill. Thanks for coming to the stream. Not even a big fall, that's like a little fall. Next oh. big fall, I'm out. Oh, shh. Life is a mosaic there it is. of pleasure and pain. Grief is an interval between two moments of joy. Mm, Bennett, Peace no. is the interlude between two wars. You have no rose without a thorn. The diligent picker will avoid the pricks and gather the flower. Satya Sai Baba. Thank you, Mr. Fadi. That will be all for now. Zuzu, can you bring the cat now that he's cooperating? I just wanted him to say hi because Apricot got to be. <laughs> Apricot got to be. A, he's so fat. Apricot got to be on the stream earlier and Mr. Silver didn't. Well, give him, give him a treat then. Oh. <laughs> Just headbutts my entire everything. Alright, that's going to do it for us tonight. Um, thank you for, for watching, if you did watch, and have a good evening.